This video provides information on data tables in OneData projects. Data tables allow to store structured data inside a OneData project. Navigating to the data tables area allows to visualize the list of all the data tables currently contained in the project. Let's have a look at one of them in detail. At the top, there is metadata information about the data table, such as the owner, the data type, and much more. There is also information on the home project. That is the project where the data table has been originally saved or created. Below are different tabs to explore the data. Here the data table is displayed. Using the arrow icon, sorting and filtering can be applied to the table. The word none indicates that currently the data are not aggregated. Clicking on it, the user can group by over a specific column and then choose between different aggregation methods for all the other columns, for example, count, sum, minimum, maximum, etc. For instance, in this table of client orders, group by product ID and sum the order quantity quickly gives an idea of what are the most purchased items. It is then possible to choose different types of aggregation for the distinct columns of the table. The tab notes can be used to create documentation or add information about each single data table. This built-in documentation is particularly useful when collaborating across teams. Remember to save the data table once you have made any changes to the notes. The tab statistics provides further hints on the data presenting frequency analysis or the distribution parameters of the data stored in each single column. Under linked workflows, all the workflows that create or use this specific table are listed. By clicking on it, it is possible to directly jump to any of these workflows. Learn more about workflows in the video Building Workflows in One Data. Thank you for learning with us.